Hello oh, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I am just doing, as you can probably tell, a 40 week update. <sighs> Gosh, I am like so beyond irritated that I'm doing this, but whatever. I turned, my due date was yesterday so I'm just barely over but I'm still over I know people go past their due dates or go before but I really really thought that I would go before so I am a little bit disappointed and before I get started I just wanted to say um last night I was watching a few of my old videos just or like just updates not all of my videos but um and by th my first one that I did for you guys was 32 weeks and I literally already said I was ready to have her then. And here I am eight weeks later and I haven't had her. But anyways, besides the point, in that video I said, quote, I have 15 subscribers and I'm very grateful for each and every one of you, end quote. And um, today I have 59 subscribers. <laughs> um... It's just, it's nice two months later to just see it slowly creep up. It's, it's cool. And if once I get to 100 subscribers, I will be um, doing little challenges and stuff like that. Just fun things um, for you guys. And what else do I have to say? Yeah, I just plan on being more active in my channel. Uh, I am just excited to kind of grow this and see where it goes because I actually really enjoy doing YouTube even though I've only been doing it for a couple months and only have about 11 videos. This will be my 12th video. Uh, I'm still really happy but and I really enjoy it. But anyways, enough of that chit chat. I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. And if you're watching this video and it's your first time being on my channel or you've been on my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe and follow me on my journey. I am um, planning on getting, you know, better equipment and stuff like that over time. But right now I'm just uh, super happy and grateful for everyone. And um, yeah, so anyways, let's get into this update. So, symptoms. So, I have some of the same symptoms as I did on my as my at my 38 week update that I gave for you guys. So, it's like um hard to roll in bed like I was describing before. Still hard, but I'm getting used to it. Um I'm getting it more into routine like in sync with my body. Um so that's good. It it's getting better. Um, low patience is the same as 38 week, my 38 week update, but it's getting worse. Um, I cry a lot more now and it doesn't take a lot for me to cry. I don't know why. I just like break down in the eyes. I'm crying and bawling. Like it's not just like tears. It's like trickling down my face. It's like so sobs. I'm like, why am I crying? But I'm, I know it's because of my hormones and I'm just tired and anxious and ready to meet her. So that brings me to another one, anxious. And I'm peeing a lot, same, and I'm having pressure. But now, I said my 38 update, I was feeling more pelvic pressure. Now I'm feeling more vaginal pressure, for sure. And um, it makes me happy because I just know that that's my body getting ready and baby getting ready to come out so like even though it's uncomfortable and hurts a little bit like I bring on the pressure I'm so ready so some new symptoms um as of 40 weeks is um I think a big one is disappointment um I've said in my past updates that when I go to the hospital or to the doctor's appointments they for the last three weeks they've been telling me like okay it could be this could be the week this could be the week this could be the week and um I've been doing everything I can kind of like really focusing on getting her out because that's just how I fill my days otherwise I would probably go I'd probably go crazy so now I've just been feeling yeah like disappointed like I've tried everything and I was told 
that um, I would be having her by now several times or like kind of getting my hopes up I told other people like I'm dilating or which I knew that, that that didn't mean anything really but also my doctor saying like okay I don't think I'll see you next by next week and then the next week comes by and then again and again and he just keeps saying it so this week at my appointment I was just like I had one on Monday the day before my um, due date and I just was like can we talk about induction because like obviously she's not coming so yeah that's a symptom and a lot more crying like I said um, and then I also have new stretch marks I had used to just have them on my butt and like the inner cheeks and my under my boob now I'm getting them on top of my boob and I'm also getting them on the outer side of my cheeks on my hips and around my belly so um, the ones around my belly are pretty small there may be, might be one that's kind of big but other than that like they're fine I can some of them I can only just feel I can't actually physically see and the ones I can see are really small so I'm not worried about that um, the, my butt and hips though, it's like getting to be a little much, but I mean, what can I do? I am giving, making life, so I'm just not thinking of it as a negative thing. I'm just taking it as it goes. I mean, it's life, people get stretch marks, so whatever. Um, I'm also having frequent bowel movements, which make me kind of excited because I know that means, that can mean that you're going into labor soon, like... Uh, to, and today I actually had a little bit of diarrhea. I know, TMI, but if you're watching this, then you're I'm sure you're curious about all symptoms. And I'm just trying to be real with y'all. But, uh, yeah, I've been having a lot of frequent bowel movements, which um, is nice. And then my appetite went back up. Because I see in 38 weeks, I said I wasn't eating that much, but... Probably like a couple days later, my appetite went back up. I've been eating quite a bit. Um, today, it's ishy, wishy-washy, but most of the time, I, I eat seconds. So, I mean, like, I'm eating. But I do almost make bowel movement two to three times a day. So, it's like after each meal, my body's just kind of like cleaning itself out. So, that makes me happy. Okay. Um... I don't ever, I, I don't have cravings, like I just don't, um, I have more food aversions than cravings, um, there's just things that I just don't want, and if I, like, if a meal is made and there's something I don't like in it, I, like yesterday I literally wanted to cry because there's stuff in the meal that I did not like and I couldn't just separate it because it was all cooked together, and, <sighs> Gosh, I literally almost cried. So, yeah, that's it for like cravings or food wise. Um, so, I told you guys I was all the things in 38 weeks that I had been doing to try to induce labor. So, I have continued since then to try to induce labor. I walk um, two to five kilometers a day um, for the last week week and a half and um I either walk by myself with my grandma or my mother and um yeah I feel good I walk fast uh, I do get a stitch like a pain in my side which I talked about my 32 week update and I still get that um like my muscles are feel a little strained but um, sometimes it's really bad and I have to stop walking and as soon as I stop the pain relieves itself but um, yeah so I'm doing that um, I walk up and down my stairs like I literally just go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down I've been doing that I don't do that as much though because it hurts my legs um, I am doing squats but again not as much in the last few days because I did them like crazy for like a while and my body was just my legs were just like whoa because I haven't worked out throughout my whole pregnancy so to do squats all the time and my body is so heavy it's it's hard 
I bought an exercise ball, which is what I'm sitting on right now. And I won't show it to you. You guys know what an exercising ball is. But um, I bought it on Monday, um, the day of my doctor's appointment, and I bounce on that. When I watch TV at night with my mom and my grandmother, I sit on it and I bounce on it. I'm bouncing on it. Well, I'm not bouncing on it right now because that's distracting for me to just pick. But, um, like, just before I started this video, I was downstairs watching TV, bouncing on it. Um, probably in the evenings, I probably bounce on it an hour or two a day since I've gotten it, um, so these past three days, and I just continue to do that, I feel like it is doing a little bit of something, last night I had a lot of pressure, um, so I'm hoping it's helping, uh, another thing I'm trying to do to induce labor is nipple stimulation, but I only did this once, and I did it yesterday for about an hour, just under an hour, which is what I googled and it said to do and it said to do one nipple for 15 minutes and then stop and do the other nipple for 15 minutes and stop and do the other nipple for 15 minutes and then do it for an hour and then um, do that three times a day. I did it once for one hour, just under an hour and um, my nipples are so sore. Yeah, they were just sore and they hurt. And I might try it again today, but oh my gosh. Maybe I was too hard on them, but my right one still is like, it hurts to touch it. So, yes, my nipple is all the way down here. My nipple touches my stomach. Yeah. I have just a nursing bra on right now, though. So. Um, anyways. I, and I'm do, still doing Primrose Oil, and I've upped my dosage of Primrose Oil. I take Primrose Oil in the morning, at night, and insert it vaginally at night. So I take two in the morning, um, like, orally, and then I take two at night orally. And then I insert three, and I've been doing that for the past week. Because I looked it up, and my pills are 500, so that's 1,000 in the morning, 1,000 at night for orally, so it's 2,000. So I'm putting in 3,000 and 3,500, um, whatever it's measured in. So it is a little bit of an overdose, but I looked it up and you can't really overdose on primrose oil, so it's fine. I've just been doing that. Um, I've just been really trying to get things going, but my, my last appointment on Monday, nothing has changed since 39 weeks. 39 weeks, I was one to two centimeters he said um and I asked him to do a sweep but he he didn't want to obviously so he's like next time next time <sighs> gosh annoying anyways I'm getting off topic okay and then I castor oil I tried it I tried it and again and I did it in the morning this time like I said I would I did one dosage, nothing happened whatsoever, so then three hours later, same as the first time, so three hours later, I tried to take it again, but I couldn't. I literally knew I was going to vomit if I took it again, but I was like, whatever, I really want to try this, I want my daughter here. So I took another dosage, it was just a tablespoon, and I mixed it with orange juice, and I went to my bathroom because I'm like, I feel like I might puke, I don't want to puke in front of anyone or on anyone or make a mess. Yeah, sure enough, as soon as I put it in my mouth and swallowed it, I started throwing it up and whatever I had just eaten all into the bathtub um, and that was it for me. It was like, okay, like this is, this is just not, not my thing. I can't do it. So I'm never, not going to try it again. Not for a third time. No, no, no. Done with castor oil. So yeah, I will just show you guys my bump shot and hopefully this is the last time I am doing an update. If I make it to 41 weeks, I will definitely do a 41 week update because I don't find a lot of them on um, YouTube and I, it's, it's just nice to, I don't even find a lot of 40 week updates on YouTube, so it's just nice to see someone else's experiences, um, and hear about them. I find it interesting. I've watched so many pregnancy updates and I will continue to update you guys after she gets here. Um, I don't know if I'll do one week postpartum or one month. I'm thinking probably one month because I'm just going to be, um, enjoying time with my new baby girl, but 
if you want to uh, have a more in-depth um, insight, I guess you'd say, in my life, I'm going to be, before I never attached my social medias to this account, but I will be now. I'm going to be making my Instagram account public, and um, I will give it to you here. They'll, Snapchat will be here as well. So, and in the description box is down below. So you can follow me on both of those social media sites. So my, when I do have her, you'll know, and um, you'll be able to see her and stuff like that before I do my one month postpartum. Um, if I get enough people following me on Snapchat and, and Instagram, I will, especially Snapchat because it's easier, it's a video. I will do like maybe a mini one week um, postpartum update but yeah so anyways thank you like i said in the beginning for for watching my video and please subscribe give this video a thumbs up and comment anything you want to comment if you have made it to 40 weeks before or 41 or 42 let me know and let me know like what you did with your time because now i'm just like i said i'm getting depressed i'm like i just want to lay in bed but i can't do that i can't just lay in bed it, I would go insane. But anyways, guys, see you soon. Bye. Okay, guys, I have not gotten ready yet today, and I'm just editing my video. But I forgot to do a bum shot for you guys. I will include a video of that now. My hips. And the big one on my belly, and then just have little ones. Around here. Oh, it looks like I'm getting one there. But yeah, this is the belly. So I am super sorry about my makeup in this video on my eye. It bugged the crap out of me. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you very, very soon.